Oh, there we are. Happy Wednesday. It's November 9th. I just started talking to myself while I was not even on the screen. Uh, welcome to another edition of Wake Up Legendary. If you don't know me, my name is Matt, and uh, we go live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, we bring on a new guest, somebody from our community or somebody who's uh, running a business model that uh, we believe is a is a great business model to run online. For us, we teach the core four business models, affiliate marketing, digital marketing, courses and consulting, and events and masterminds. So no matter what your specialty is, no matter what your, we call it a niche, is uh, we'll teach you how to how to take that business and grow and scale it online using the power of things like social media or sales funnels and autumn email automations and things like that. So um, the point of this show is we like to bring on guests from uh, our community typically. And uh, here, let me switch my, there we go. Uh, typically from our community and uh, who are, who are, who are finding us who are, um, taking action and building social media profiles of hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of followers um, who are going live, who are um, generating leads and sales. And today we've got, um, I think, a current or former bus driver who's uh, building an online business. And uh, her name is Catherine. She's, she's calling in from Tennessee. Let's bring on Catherine. What's up? What's up? Hey. Welcome to the live. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to run out to newsstands and grab your copy. I tried yesterday to find one. Well, nice. Welcome on to the show. I'm pumped that you're here. And um, I'd love to tell, tell your story about um, how you're uh, a bus driver, not very tech savvy, you said. <laughs> And um, that's a beautiful thing because that gives a lot of people confidence because most people who come into our industry aren't super tech savvy at all. But um, tell us a little bit about your journey. How did you find Legendary? You know, <laughs> I have, was, we're getting ready to retire next year. Um, and I, with the way everything was going in the, in the world, I said, I need to find something just to supplement a little bit extra of what's going on. So I was just looking for something that I could, you know, have a little extra money, a few hundred dollars a month on TikTok, social media, just scrolling through. And I saw this person saying, wow, on and on and on. And I just went, okay, watched it for a while, watched and watched and said, you know what? I can do this. So that's how it all started. That's exactly how it all started. I, uh, wow. you know, it was, uh, I took the $7 course, obviously, and it was, uh, the information I gained from that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, you know what? I'm going full force. So that's what I did. So uh, are you the type of person to, to like, tune into TikTok or something and because you said something really interesting you said i could do this have, have you is that a pattern for you like do you do that with other stuff in life like yeah i could do that well here's the whole thing that word challenge someone's going to challenge me i'm going to do it <laughs> <laughs> there's no holding me back okay <laughs> i'm going to do it i'm going to find a way i'm going to do it Look, <laughs> this is hysterical. I was so nervous making my first TikTok. Like I was, I've never posted on anything, never. Social media, nothing. I mean, I had accounts to just scroll to see what's going on. I was so nervous. My husband picks up his phone and it's hysterical. He picks it up and he starts recording. He says, he says, uh, what? I'm going to show her how to do this. I hit the plus button and just going on and on and on. And I said, okay, if he can do it, then I can do it. <laughs> so, you just need somebody to challenge you. That's all. Exactly. Exactly. Funny. So. Wow. Crazy. So cool. <laughs> so cool. So, um, so you get started with the challenge. You start learning. Uh, the challenge is a challenge for you. Oh, uh, it is. But. You you start creating videos, and I think this is really powerful because my guess is you had never made a talk video before. I'm guessing. No. Okay, 
are did you just start creating them at home were you like on the bus were you are you still driving bus now i am I you're am getting still, ready to retire i am i uh i work for the midnight um oh. it's a you know it's a great job mm-hmm. um and i and i do enjoy it but the mental stress of it is can be extremely challenging sure yeah so. i think that makes sense to me and so you've got um and the beautiful part about building a side hustle in a place where you have a job, which I think is really cool, is, you know, it it lowers some of the intensity a little bit. Sometimes I, I feel a bit of intensity of like, oh, my God, like my world's ending. You know, I got laid off from my job or, I, you know, and I'm going all in on this. And so for some people that works, but for other people, I think it's a healthier, maybe more stable situation where they're like, no, I'm driven, I'm motivated, but also I have a little bit, little bit of income coming in where I can figure this out and um, I don't have to place a big bet, you know, like everybody glorifies placing a bet on themselves, which I think is great too. You should mm-hmm. bet on yourself out of anybody else, but it, it, there's also wagers, you know, in betting, uh, you could bet 50 bucks or you could bet the whole house. You can go all in and poker, you know, right. and sometimes given the hand that you're dealt, you kind of got to look at it and be like, okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm new to this or, you know, maybe my hand's not pocket aces. Maybe I don't go all in on this hand. And I think that's part of <clears throat> when you come into online, the online space, I think it's really wise for people to people to identify. Okay, I'm new to social media. I'm new to uh, digital marketing. I'm new to what, whatever. And it's not to say I can't do it, but it's also to say, hey, it's probably really smart for me to like keep my job. Because honestly, Catherine, I've had people who have come online and literally like just been like, yeah, I just quit my job. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna make you know six figures this year, and I'm like, well, cool, but also like. Can you get that job back? Because <laughs> <laughs> I need to make money in 30 days. I usually ask them, what is, you know, what's going to happen on, happen on day 30? You know, okay. let's plan for that because, you know, sometimes this takes a little bit of time. So well, let's talk about uh, you and your journey creating content and, and how do you go about that and how do you stay consistent? Like, you know, from the moment you created that first video, you hit post <clears throat> to now all the way to you know you're creating content you're driving leads you're making sales what's that that process and how do you uh create content well i'll tell you you know at 58 i never thought i would be doing this so i just you know at any age (laughs) it can be done i started my first actual post was a picture of a coffee table with a cup of tea on it, a book and a candle because it was a rainy day because I didn't know what to do. And I was panicking. And as you continue to keep making the videos, it gets easier and easier and easier. Staring at a screen that you're not talking to anybody, you know, Mm. and as you go back and look at them, you know, sometimes I look at them going, really, I can't repurpose this. Um, But you get better and better. And, um, you know, most of my videos are either done right here. I mean, they're right in my house. I just, um, the big thing, and it's taken me a while to learn it, is just to be yourself. Mm. Because everyone wants to see just you and what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing. They just want to see you. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Wow, what a weird phenomenon. Like, what is that? Sometimes I think of it like, I mean, this might sound a little dark, but sometimes I think of it kind of like voyeurism, like, you know, like looking through the shades into somebody's house or something like, you know, there's this human like desire to kind of see the real person, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like, you know, people being naked or peeping or anything like that. I just mean like, it's sort of like, you know, what's this, you know, what makes this person tick? What makes this person unique? What makes this person who they are? This is interesting. Um, what what do you mean in your content by be yourself? What does that mean to you? Let people know who you really are. Hmm. Um, and, you know, it's, it's your story. It's your journey. 
And I'm at that point right now where, um, you know, we all have a journey. <laughs> we all have a past. <laughs> um, and some are better than others. Um, it's been difficult for me to get to that part of the full. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm mm -hmm. piecing it all together. Um, because it's, it's, been, it's been a tough journey for me. It's yeah. been a tough journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <clears throat> to get to where you're at today and you're creating, con I mean, it is a little bit, I mean, think about the, you're just, I mean, you've been creating content for a few months now, but right. for, for you to have now almost 6,000 followers, mm -hmm. uh, when somebody's basically brand new, they're just getting going. Sometimes people discount the fact that they've got 6,000 followers. That's crazy, you know? And I, I do think, um, I do think we live in a really interesting, super opportunistic time where there's so much opportunity for people to build huge followings that it's almost overwhelming. Um, as you let people see you and mm -hmm. discover you, what results or what have you experienced in doing that? What's um, what outcomes have come of that? The engagement of talking to people. Okay. Um, is huge because mm -hmm. once they, once, once they can, um, feel comfortable with you, mm -hmm. the engagement and communication with them is huge. Mm -hmm. They trust you. They believe in you. Yes, yes, yes. So rather than just a bunch of people looking on and right. sort of just kind of, Oh, I've got followers, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now people are kind of going into like, hey, tell me more. Stuff like that. Is that what you mean? Correct. Yes. Mm. Tell me That's what you're doing. How are you doing it? Um, I've got a lot of, you know, thank yous for posting. Like, because I'm doing a lot of talking now um, mm -hmm. instead of just my face. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you for telling me that. And I really needed that today. And um, mm -hmm. that sort of engagement with people is uh it makes me feel good yeah because then yeah. i'm able uh, it it makes me feel good because if they're struggling somewhere no matter what it is because i'm very motivational too you know again. yeah you know it's interesting uh if if i could just tell you something so it's interesting as i look at your tiktok uh page and you post videos about um grandmas or you'll even post about your age yes. um and you know one of the interesting things that i i just got this feeling like i don't i don't always get this feeling but i just got this feeling kind of looking at it scanning it that's what i do all the time when i look at people's or when they come on wake up legendary and i just had this thought that you know this you feel a bit like you're a leader to that community and it's funny that you said you know i do some stuff that's motivational too like i i almost feel like i it's a combination of a few things i don't really know what exactly i'm picking up on maybe it's just intuition but um <clears throat> let me show you let me let me share my screen real quick um i thought what was interesting is just that you know as I look at things like, um, you know, grandmas are clapping back about what society expects. Um, and then uh, a, a good bit of talk about the recession, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm over 50, right? And what I think is important when you talk about being yourself and you talk about, man, this is really powerful, is there's there's a whole group and a whole community of people out there who are your age, who are approaching mm -hmm. retirement, who are looking at this recession and they're just like, oh my gosh, what happened to my 401k? This is insane. All this stuff. And um, and they're sort of looking out and, and waiting to discover a leader. And so now when you make that shift and transition to really being yourself, to really being who you are... Um, they kind of look at that as not just somebody out there who's making TikTok videos about, you know, 
you know, how millionaires are made during a recession, but they're also, which is great, by the way, that's great content. Uh, but also they're getting a real dose of you, you know, they're getting a real dose of a leader who can, can help guide them or they, they can find some sort of middle ground or, or uh, can find some sort of North star to look at and sort of, you know, where am I supposed to go in all of this? And, and that's, that's really what I want to do. Um, because like I said, my past and past and all that's coming out. There's a lot of things going on in the next few months that I've got going on, but that's exactly what I'm gearing towards. I want these people, whether they be 20 or 80 to know that you can chase your dreams. Follow them. Yes. It doesn't matter your age. Just continue to keep going one day at a time. Yep. Um, and, you know, yes, we all have our setbacks. Oh, trust me. I have failed forward. I don't know how many times I can't even count that high. Um, but yes, that's, I, this is, this is where I'm gearing at. I want people to, again, you, I, I want them to know who I am so that yep. I can help them do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, do I want it to happen overnight? Of course, everyone does, but all good things take time. So. Yeah. No, I think that that makes sense. And your content creation, um, I don't know what it is. It, it just kind of looks and feels, um, you do a good combination. I think of a couple things. Um, one, you have videos in your, in your timeline on TikTok that are more, what I call growth style videos. So videos that are geared towards really grabbing somebody's attention it has nothing to do with you really. It's just mostly right. like teaching something or sharing a powerful idea. And that helps grow a channel that helps um, the channel size increase and grow your audience, grow your followers. Um, mm -hmm. And then you also have videos that are, that are really geared towards sharing more about you and your journey and your story. And also, uh, uh, what, uh, motivation, um, what's motivating you, what's empowering you, that kind of thing. So I think that, um, I, I think that what I get from, and that's usually a magical combination. If I see people who are, who are making sales, their business is growing, there's, and I go look in their social media, there's usually a good combination of that. Sometimes people are way more heavy on the growth videos and nothing from their story, which means usually to me, that means there's maybe a bit of a lack of leadership because they're, or vulnerability, because mm -hmm. it's safer to make a video about how to make $50 an hour on TikTok. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, absolutely. But then when you've got something like you, where you've also combined that with because you have to have that end. You have to have something that's going to stir up and build a following. Otherwise, you got nobody to listen to your vulnerable leadership moments. Your following doesn't exist. And so then as you know, so maybe you do one of those and then 10 or 20 videos. That's more like, hey, I'm going to share what's really on my mind. I'm going to share an idea that I think is really powerful. And then, you know, you, then you do another growth style video. But yeah, I was just struck by... Um, <clears throat> the feeling I got looking and it's no wonder that you've got followers and also you've got a lot of people engaging your engagement numbers are really good is because you've got uh, all of these videos that are talking about, you know, Hey, here's what's coming. We've got an uh, upcoming recession. This is when millionaires are built, you know, and you're also right. speaking directly to the comments of people who are, you know, what if I'm over 50? Like, could I do some sort of online business thing? Is this possible? Uh, which I also think is a great, great thing to do, which is to speak directly to your audience, to speak, you know, exactly who your species is. You're speaking right to them directly to their face, right. um, which is powerful. So how long have you been creating content on TikTok? How long has it been now? About five months. About five so months. you're <laughs> averaging about a thousand followers a month. Is that right? Yeah. Ish? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure your first month was maybe a tad slower and, right. and you know, you kind of go through ups and downs because you get a video that gets viewed a lot. Yeah. A bunch of views. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the, I'm one of the ones that I don't focus on, excuse me, how many people are watching or how many people are, are this and that. I, mm -hmm. I, I really focus more on just putting it out there because 
in my theory, if I have three people yep. and all three of those people like what I'm doing, that's what I want. Yep. Um, so, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really pay too much attention to that. Cool. <laughs> you yeah. know, what a healthy way to look at things. <laughs> I guess you know, I don't know. It, it seems that. to be working good. I'm, you know. Yeah. I, I, again, it's this is one of the. I wish I had done this twenty years ago. Sure, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be a city bus driver today. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, but also, um, it's a um, it's a miracle that you happened to find us and find this idea when you did because it's. Oh, yeah the most it's it is the most opportune moment i could ever see or think of in the history of the world to build an online business or to build a business that you can have freedom with which is just crazy it's honestly it's bonkers um when you are you creating content like three to five times a day or like one time a day or how often do you make videos well i do about three a day okay um, and I'm, I'm sticking to three a day just because cool. of uh, when it comes to, when it comes to the posting of the videos, um, I try to post them about the same time, but because of my schedule, um, you know, with, with working at night, you know, I get certain breaks, um, or when I say breaks, you know, it could be a minute here or there. So I've got to have everything ready to hit post and hope that internet's working. Um, right. I mean, a lot of times they can be all over the place, which isn't the greatest thing. Sure. Um, but it's usually within an hour or so of when I would be, you know, posting. So, yeah, yeah that makes it sense. Just, it, it just depends on it. It depends on what I can do. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. The uh, I I think that a three a day three a day kind of thing sounds you know, like pretty much what most people do. They'll do maybe five if they're really ambitious, but usually it's about one to three a day. Right. I think that it's just a powerful, how do you get your idea? I mean, it's so much content, like three, that's like what, almost a hundred videos a month. You've been doing it for five months. For people who are out here who have never made a video, how, how do you get the ideas? Well, <laughs> Sometimes I'm just driving and I think of this idea and go, oh man, I, I need to stop. I need to stop so I can voice something in so I can remember it. Otherwise I totally forget it. Um, yep. But also, um, you know, I model other people. Find someone that you really like what they're doing and model them. Um, put it in your own words. Once you, once you find someone that you like and you see what they're posting, um, it, to me anyways, it's easier for me to go, oh, you know what? I like that. But you know what? I like it this way. So you can get ideals just from, you know, finding someone that you really like mm. and modeling their ideas. Totally. And also you can you can find people both inside and outside of your niche to to get absolutely. ideas absolutely absolutely you do not need to just stick to your your specific niche so yes well that's interesting to me because um one of the one of the things that i think is fascinating is how I, I just feel like back in the day when I was first getting started, it was so hard to find good examples. Oh, I might be frozen. Yeah, you look like you are. I think I'm frozen. Hang tight. Okay. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, there you go. I'm back. Okay. My I feel like my face just froze. On my screen, my face was frozen like it did. Like, <laughs> that would be um, a great video, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll screen grab that. Um, no, back in the day when I was getting started, I just I feel like um, my like figuring out how to create content was so hard. And now you can just you can come online, you can go and search a hashtag on TikTok and just have endless ideas of videos that you mm -hmm. can make. There's one video that 
so a guy made over a year ago, over mm-hmm. a year ago, where he talks about making $18 an hour or something from Apple yeah. from home. Yep. And he uh-huh. has an apple on his finger and he flips it back. And I've seen people do that on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. People, uh, I've seen people hold iPads and say that and throw the iPad. I've seen, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. And all from just one little idea, which that guy, he didn't even make that up. He just got it from somebody. And that video across the whole internet right, has probably been made thousands of times by many different people. Oh, um, yes. I've seen him. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and then what happens is people get all this engagement and attention and um, they start generating leads and sales. And then you know, the, the people who keep that going are the people who are able to either go live or um, create videos like you are, which are uh, really engagement heavy videos that are that grab people's attention and really bring them in. Um, what, what else are you doing? Do you have you gone live before? Have you? Um, I was just I was just going to tell you that I um, yeah. just started going live. Okay. So um, actually, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 in the morning. Okay. Um, I'm going live. Going? Um, so that has been, uh, you know, a little different. Uh, me doing the videos with the talking, you know, uh, instead of yeah. putting the words up, I've been doing it as what I would type, voicing it. So that okay. has helped me with going live. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I've just started doing that. A little bit different. Um, I do have another another gal um that we go live together um which is great too because i'm like you and i sitting here talking a little bit easier um but yeah so that's that's one of the upcoming things that um you know i'm i'm heading to do there's gonna be a lot of changes a lot of i'm pumped because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of new stuff happening in the next few months so yeah cool yeah and uh for everybody who's here can you give a little hand clap emoji uh in the comments uh for for catherine going live it's a tough it's a really tough barrier to break through um i think one of the main reasons that it's such a hard thing for people to to push through that fear and get through is it's just a it's such a vulnerable thing where there's no editing. There's no, there's nothing you can do in every other case. You have some sort of delete button or (laughs) an edit button or a filter or something. Well, I'm going to tell you what I did a video. I sat, I sat out back and that was probably two months ago. And I did the video. Hmm. My hair was all over the place. and (laughs) And I started off by saying, look, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to edit it. I want you, I want everyone to see that you actually can just do it. Yeah. Um, and I did a video like that, um, which I think helped me with then just talking when I do my videos. Um, and uh, that was, that was a hard thing to do and put out there, you know, that it didn't really matter. That's the whole thing is you've got to remember that you need to be you again. You know, they want to see you, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I messed up with talking, messed up, you know, with the words. And I said, I'm not adding it. You guys are going to see the raw me, you know, Mm. Um, and that's, that's just a, that's just a huge, huge. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like for people to see that for your followers, for it's, I don't know, it's big for, it's big for both the creator, you Mm -hmm. And also big for the people watching, you know, your followers, uh, which I think is just a very cool thing. What um, for people who are here, who are, you know, just getting started, who are let's think back to June or July, whenever that was, when you started the challenge and you're you're like, OK, I got this challenge. I'm going to I'm going to defeat this challenge. They're they're getting in. They're starting to figure out, OK, here's how I could start this business here. Here's how I could get this all set up. What would you say to those people? I'll give you the final word in our in our uh, episode today. What bits of advice, or you said that on your TikTok, you've got some motivation. What motivation would you try to instill in people who are getting started, specifically maybe people who are 50, 55, 
um, getting near that retirement age and uh, are a little like, I guess I think I could do this. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's really kind of, it's kind of easy as far as I'm concerned. You went ahead and you took that first step. Okay, now you're going through the challenge. So if you continue to keep motivating yourself saying, okay, it's one day at a time. I can just continue to keep doing it. I'm going to get better. We're all going to make mistakes. You have to continue to, it's your mindset. You've got to keep your mindset on where you're looking and moving forward. Um, and again, just because you're 20 or just because you're 80, you all can do the same thing. It, yeah. it, 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 you know, we can all dance if you want to dance. Some may dance better than others. Some may right. talk better than others. Some may write better than others. But we can all do it. You got to mm -hmm. find yourself where you're best at and just keep going. Continue with, you know, like you said, you're going through the 15-day challenge and you're thinking, oh man, am I going to be able to do this? Look, <laughs> I had no clue how to, I I'm not tech savvy at all. I am at all. Um, but I continue each day to learn something new. If I, if, I, if I don't learn something new, I am not growing. So I prefer not to know everything, you know? So, you know, again, you just get it. It's, it's, I'd love to help people with getting their mindset. If anybody wants to talk to me, absolutely shoot me a message. Cool. Um, but when it comes, and I did a video on this too, um, or within a video, Mm -hmm. That with the age wise, really with the age wise, anybody out there, you're a little bit older, we're a little bit wiser. Mm. So <laughs> you take that into account and all the different things, at least for me, we're talking, you know, 40s and older. We've been through a little bit more. So we're a little more cautious of what we're going to do. Yep. But if you look at what you've done and where you've been and where you are today, mm. you know, really where I want to step back and what I don't want to do. Yeah. Not that you're still not going to fail moving forward, but in a different way. Hmm. Powerful, really, really powerful ideas. And uh, yeah, wow. Isn't that interesting how just with a different set of glasses, what you did there, just a, just imagine like taking glasses off and putting glasses on because how every person who's, let's say they're 50 years old or 60 years old, we've had people up to 82 years old, mm -hmm. um, come through and actually become successful on the online. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's sort of this stigma where it's like, oh, I must be behind. There must be something you know, that I don't get that a 22 year old gets, you know, all of this stuff, which is I'm less than I'm less than I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know, whatever it is. And just one sentence, you defeated that all by saying, you know, we've been through a lot. We're a little wiser. We have a little bit more of, you know, we have insight that other people don't. And I just think that that's really powerful that you use that uh, to your advantage. And you see that as a as a, every business has things called unique selling points. Mm -hmm. um, this is a unique selling point of you and your business and why you're good at what you do. So, man, that was really powerful. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. You know, I just want to take a step back real quick. You know how the young ones are on the phone, on their phones and they're typing with their two fingers. Mm -hmm. So again, for me, it may take me 10 minutes or it might take them two minutes, but right. I can still do it. And so can you, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of, you know, how long, I mean, everyone does, no matter what it is they do, everyone does something different. Something yep. may take you two minutes that may take me an hour, Yep. but we can all do the same thing. Yep. And as long as you keep that focus of, I can do it, mm -hmm. maybe not in 10 minutes, but I can do it and do it. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, I, I talked with uh, a retired couple that I've known for quite a few years who are really good digital marketers. 
uh, back in 2020. And my suggestion was, um, Hey, uh, you, you really need to get on TikTok, And they're like, ah, that's not really our thing. And I was like, you really, you guys are smart marketer. You got to get on TikTok." They're like, ah, it's not really my thing. It's not our thing. It's not what we do. And I was like, this is generational changing like stuff here. Trust me, you have to be on there. And they just never really did. And, um, and I always thought and always wondered, you know, what would have happened if they did, if they took that opportunity, mm -hmm. because they'd already had a successful business up until then. They're smart. They've been on videos, webinars, all kinds of trainings. Um, and what, what my thought was, was um, when you said it might take somebody who's 20 years old, two minutes versus 10 minutes for you or somebody uh, at your age, I, I think that the only difference there is um, for somebody who's, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I really believe this for somebody who's, you know, let's say they're 50 years old, 55 years old. Um, and maybe it takes a little longer to kind of like navigate a phone or something. That's mm -hmm. pretty normal. Um, I think that they've really, if they're going to dive in, they've really got to become sort of crazy almost about about mastering something like TikTok or mastering Instagram, it has to almost become like, like so intense and yeah. so maniacal. You have to become completely enthused by mastering the platform to where, you know, you can start to speed that up a little bit and right. it might just take a little, it might just take a little bit of time and energy up front, but eventually You'll get to the point where you're, you know, it's you're as fast as anybody else. Right. It used to take me an hour to do a video. <laughs> I can do it in 10 minutes now. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You can do it. And in the grand scheme, if when you really think about it, in the grand scheme, you know, that took you what, four or five months, maybe three or four or five months. And yeah to a lot of people, they can't even envision creating their first video, more or less being in the place where you're at now. Um, you know, ge constantly generating leads and sales. And I would say to, to people who are, you know, just like, Oh my gosh, I could never figure this out. I could never, do you know, three months might sound like an eternity, but the truth is, is it's a very short amount of time. Um, and, or even, you know, five, five months, six months of time, that's still a very short amount of time where you've built a really valuable skill, which is getting people's attention on the internet and figuring out how to grab people's attention, um, steer them in a direction and get them to do something. That's really powerful. Right. Well, you know, if, if, if you were starting, and this is what I tell people, if you were starting a coffee shop, you're not going to be successful in three months. <laughs> I mean, it's going to, it's going to take you a, a while to get there. This yep. is the same thing. Forget it. You got to forget about, and I, it's hard to, hard to explain this to people. So they understand it the right way, but you need to forget about all numbers, all numbers. It doesn't matter what numbers they are. Every single number you need to forget about and just focus on what you want to attract. Yeah. And that's, that's really the bottom line of it doesn't matter what the number is, how many views, how many of this, how much you make, any of that. None of that matters. You need to focus and spend those months, and it doesn't matter how many months, spend those months focusing on what you need to do. Yep. Totally. Well, Catherine, thanks so much for all the wisdom and uh, for the advice to everybody here. If you just look at the comments, you can tell how valuable this is for people. So, Oh, thank, thank you so you. much for coming on the show. And thank you for having me. Yeah. Any time we'd love to have you back in a couple of months again. And oh, I'd love to because I have new things coming. <laughs> all right. Good. Well, let's let's uh reach out in a, in two months or so and we'll throw you back on the show and see what's new. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. All right, everybody. You can follow Catherine at chase your dreams dot with dot cas so it's c a s at the end so chase your dreams all one word dot with dot c a s and uh go give Catherine a follow let her know that you found uh you found her uh from wake up legendary and also just drop a comment 
let Catherine know what was powerful about this episode. What did you find powerful about this episode? Because what it does is it gives more ideas for content and it, and it shows and reveals uh, to Catherine what parts of her journey, story, et cetera, are uh, really important and memorable to you. So uh, we'll be back here again. Uh, we're live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We've been doing this for about three years now and uh, no end in sight. So we're always here. We've always got um, uh, new guests and new stories on deck. And uh, we'll be back here tomorrow with another great guest uh, at 10 a.m. Eastern. See you, everybody. Have a great Wednesday. We'll see you.